Hey travelers! Today I want to chat with you a little more about gay travel in the Caribbean. Previously I talked about gay travel to Jamaica, which is a notoriously unfriendly island for LGBTQ travelers, uh, as is unfortunately a lot of the Caribbean. While things are starting to change, as we've discussed before, social change is not something that happens quickly, so it's going to be a while for most of the islands. The good news is there are absolutely gay-friendly destinations in the Caribbean where LGBTQ travelers can visit, be open, have a great time, and not have to worry about a thing. And I want to highlight four of my favorites. Now this doesn't necessarily mean there's nowhere else you can go, but these are the four that I think really um, give you the best options for LGBTQ travel in the Caribbean. The first I want to chat about is Curacao. Curacao is an amazing island and it is extremely LGBTQ friendly. And excuse me as I look down at my notes because I had to remember which thing each island offers. So forgive me if I glance down now and again. But Curacao is a Dutch island and generally speaking the Netherlands are known for being open and inclusive and this definitely extends to their islands in the Caribbean, one of which is Curacao. And Curacao is extremely gay friendly. You'll find um, a huge pride festival and Curacao is actually a member of the International Gay and Lesbian Travel Association. So they actually put themselves out there as being a gay friendly travel destination and they absolutely are. You'll find in general that the people are warm and welcoming and you can just relax and enjoy being together. So Curacao is a great choice if you want to visit the Caribbean. And I'm particularly excited because as many of you know, I love Sandals Resorts, but unfortunately many of the islands that host Sandals Resorts are not particularly LGBTQ friendly. But the exciting news is that they are putting a resort on Curacao. And when I heard that, I was super excited because I have a lot of gay clients who want to visit Sandals because I'm always talking them up. But Jamaica is not a great choice for them and some of the other islands aren't great options, but Curacao is a great option and Sandals is coming there. So definitely stay tuned and I will let you know the minute that that happens. Another great option if you are a gay traveler and want to visit the Caribbean is St. Martin slash St. Martin. As you know, they are, that is one island, part French, part Dutch. Both the French and the Dutch are pretty laid back about everything and that is true about LGBTQ travel as well. St. Martin is an excellent choice on either side of the island for gay travelers. Um, they have gay beaches and on both sides and they actually have a gay nightclub which is a real rarity in the Caribbean called Eros on the Dutch side and it's from what I understand super fun. I've never been. Um, but St. Martin, either side is a great choice for LGBTQ travel. Now the next one might surprise you a little bit, but it's Puerto Rico. And sometimes people say to me, Puerto Rico for LGBTQ travel? Because you think of Puerto Rico as being more of a conservative island, um, heavily Catholic, which doesn't tend toward open-mindedness. And, but it's wrong. Puerto Rico is actually the home of the largest pride festival in the Caribbean. Uh, it's generally very welcoming to LGBTQ travelers and it's a great choice, especially because you don't need a passport to go there. Of course, Puerto Rico is a territory of the United States, so US citizens don't need a passport to visit Puerto Rico. The one downside is there aren't really any all-inclusive resorts. So if all-inclusive resorts are what you're going after, Puerto Rico isn't a great choice. But for LGBTQ travel, Puerto Rico, San Juan in particular, is an excellent, excellent choice for LGBTQ travel. The fourth option that I really like for my guests is Turks and Caicos. Now, Turks and Caicos doesn't really advertise itself as a gay-friendly destination, but in general, the islanders 
are just welcoming to everybody and they have no problem with LGBTQ travelers, LGBTQ families. Uh, this is one of my favorite destinations for LGBTQ families because there is a beaches resort there. And beaches, as you may know, is the family friendly version of sandals. So it's a beautiful resort and just stunning service, amazing food. I love that resort. There's tons to do for the kids and Turks is very welcoming to LGBTQ travelers. So it's a great choice for LGBTQ families with children uh, because unfortunately a lot of the best family resorts are in Jamaica, which as we've discussed, isn't necessarily gay friendly. So Turks is an amazing option for LGBTQ families and of course just LGBTQ couples as well because it is very, very open and welcoming. Now the one thing I will tell you when traveling to any of these islands is that it's not different than the US in that Generally speaking, you will find more acceptance and more open-mindedness in the tourist areas and in the cities. If you are going to venture out into small rural locations, you may not find things quite as welcoming, much as it is here. Unfortunately, the more cosmopolitan the area, the more likely you are to find warm and welcoming people to the LGBTQ community. So just keep that in mind if you're visiting is that even on the islands that are gay friendly, sticking to the tourist areas or the larger cities is definitely a smart choice. But the great news is that there is absolutely no reason that LGBTQ travelers can't visit the Caribbean. Uh, these are my four top choices, but there are lots of places that you can go, relax, and have a great time. In fact, I'm gonna be in Mexico next week, and surprisingly again, Mexico is a great choice for LGBTQ travelers looking for a tropical vacation. Again, you might not think of it, again, conservative, highly Catholic country, but actually a great choice. So you might wanna follow me on Facebook or Instagram, both at Travel Pro Christine, and I'll be posting lots of pictures and videos, and I will be going, uh, posting a video next week about the LGBTQ experience in Mexico. So next time you're looking for an amazing LGBTQ friendly vacation, definitely give me a shout. All my information is on the end screen and don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe bell so you will know every time I post a video. Till next time, stay well.